Happy Christmas, Noddy. Yeah, I've got to play it, haven't we, really? He's out there somewhere. Eddie Izzard's with us, ladies and gentlemen. We couldn't be happier. Eddie, explain yourself. The cover of your new DV, or one of them, has you, and it appears to be a lovely lady's body. Now, is that you? That is my body. No way is that yeah. your body. You've got the bosom going on. Well, no, I just bought those in a shop. You wear, you can buy bosoms? Yeah. From oh. Bosoms Are Us. Wow, and they're a good pair you chose for yourself there. I know, I chose 38B. No, 38C. OK, and, the, and what happens down here? You strap that up or you hide it away somewhere? No, I give that to a friend. Uh, mm -hmm. So you're smooth after. underneath. And then the legs, they're yours? No, borrowed from a, a guy who lives down the road <laughs> <laughs> called Steve. <laughs> Steve <laughs> no, no, my legs. That is La Brea. That is just down from the Chaplin Studios. We actually in got Los out. In Los Angeles, yeah? Yeah, we actually went out on the road because it actually looks like it's kind of dropped in with a road behind it. We stood on the road... You look and like you know what you look like there. Do you mind? They had a cop that? stopping the traffic. Well, I don't blame them. You know what you look like there. You look like a sort of aunt when you're at school. There's an aunt, and you think she probably would. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I think that's probably good. That's you a look good like place someone's to get to. sexy aunt. I'm kind of like big girls blouse, you know. <laughs> you said you're big girls blouse. I think yeah, that's where I am. Yeah. So where are you now though? Because now you because you, you're wearing the. Oh, I'm in bloke smoking. mode. You know, you know the Fantastic Four, the Human Torch. Yeah. And he goes, flame on. Oh, and you do that? I can go breast on. I drag on. Breast on. Well, it's not no, drag, not drag. Is it? Hey, let's have, what's that? Is there a flourish on your trouser there? What, there's a thing? Oh, you've got a bit of piping down the side. I have piping. I like it's, the look It's my of that. military... Um... You know what, that's quite festive. No more military, really. Yeah, but sort of <laughs> festive. No. Oh, come on, go with the festive vibe. OK, it's pretty festive as well. You're looking good. Thank you very much. How are the, all the things in your life said to be going great? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, the career of... couldn't be going better, could it? No, I know. I actually have a chart, and it seems to be all right. It's gone. It's gone. His chart. I've seen his chart. It goes up into the. It goes past good into mm. the area. Very few people get into the zone. It's it called says, gravy. It goes best. Mm. It's up in best. No, it's up in gravy. <laughs> gravy, and it's a gravy train with biscuit wheels. No, that's kind of disgusting, though. Isn't it? Oh, and you mean biscuits that go in the gravy that you can't eat without? Yeah, that's the deal. Because mm. the digestive going in the gravy. They would get soggy. I love digestives. But with gravy? No. Right. I could eat a whole pack though with tea. Anyway, Eddie Izzard's with us, and Eddie's uh, your acting career going great guns. Yes, that's that's all going in a nice place. You're going to be going. You're back on stage in Joe Egg in, in New York next year. Yeah, aren't you? Broadway, Broadway bound. He's conquered America. Yes. Yeah, Victoria Hamilton. He's conquered America, and uh, not conquered. I'm kind of like uh, I'm kind of like a big cult. Get the spelling. What, on that New right. York and L.A. Uh, and no, big and, cities. and no, all the all the all the. Um, bits in between as well, but, and a sort of like, some people go, oh yeah, and some people go, I have never heard of that person in a million I years. should imagine, though, the, the way you dress there on Le Bray on the cover of this, yeah. with the bosoms that you bought and the legs that you bought, yeah. if you went like that in the deep south or somewhere, you'd be... you'd be uh, Hailed as the new messiah. No, you'd be uh, married Hailed. to someone and living in a small shack somewhere against your will. <laughs> no, because I'd go there with guns. You'd be Bubba's wife. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd, have, I'd have a certain belt that could explode on, on, on pressing a button or something. Yeah, they know all about the exploding Belt. Well, I won't go there then. <laughs> Don't go there. That's what I'm saying. I'm worried about no, you. No, but actually, I do have to go there. You have to go to places that scare you. Is that what because you I want to do gigs in Arabic. You know, because I do, I do gigs in French, and I was born in Yemen, which yeah. no one knew where it was, but now everyone knows where it was since they started oh, doodle bugging cars. For out all there. the right reasons, yeah. Um, so you're going to go back there, but you're going to learn Arabic? Well, I have to, otherwise it'll be a very bad show. <laughs> How long will that take you, though? Hello, everyone in Yemen. Now, I'm here, remember it was a colony. Now, that won't work, learn, will it? Learn four jokes, you know, but just repeat them. No, no, because they'll, they'll say, that, yeah, he was good for four jokes, and then he just repeated them. Just say, I, I What do you want... mean, their attention span will disappear? Leave them wanting more. <laughs> just do a small no, gig. No, that'll leave them wanting less. I'm thinking of you. Where do you get all this energy? Where do you get the time from? I get it from a guy down the road called Steve. No, you don't mm, want to buy it. his legs and his energy. <laughs> but you've been learning I'm to fly I'm sucking his thing up, like in that film that <laughs> that guy wrote, where the body was... Anyway. Which one was that? You know the one, that Hellraiser? Hellraiser? Where they you know get... what it... And the body was being sucked up by blood. That's... I thought it was kind of... But it's not really like that. You see, don't do this material in Arabic. <laughs> it won't win them over. Oh, I bet you it will. <laughs> you, don't, you have no idea. You know what? I've never seen you do a whole live show. I feel ashamed of myself. So what, you always get five minutes in and go, well, that's enough of that. <laughs> I've never been to see Love and I feel ashamed and I feel I've missed a treat. I watched that the other night all the way through. It's not, yeah. no, I'm not, well, I've seen him do live stuff on tape before. Oh, I mean, I've it. never been in the audience. Did you know I had exactly. a trivia track on it? Because I saw that on another one. No, it's, I did, but I You know, because I talk all this rubbish and I, you can yeah. just press it on and have all the fact, the truth come out. On uh, the DVD. So you actually correct yourself. Um, no, no, no. It just, it just, it's just sort of winging off from stuff about the Pope, other fo facts about the Pope. Tangents. Or, or the yes. only thing I didn't understand about it was when your microphone went down. I've never seen a bunch of inept people who couldn't work a microphone, and you were left floundering. They were wandering around going... No, it oh, was the so weirdest like... microphone breakdown I've ever had. I mean, this is in the middle of taping it. It went... Went on from main onto backup microphone, onto microphone with a cord attached, because it was a cordless one, onto, um... 
even just shouting. <laughs> In the end, I was just shouting, and it was still feeding back. And this was the night you were recording? Yeah. I mean, you saying. know, sometimes technical things go wrong. You know, sometimes like yeah. the BBC just goes... In, in the yeah. old days, used to go off the air and say, I'm terribly sorry. Everything's <laughs> blown. Remember when we were growing up, and they used to say, I'm sorry, something's going wrong with the BBC. I, that used to be my favourite show. <laughs> yeah, and there'd, there'd be jam cakes and things later, but now... <laughs> now some tone for you. <laughs> Beep! They used to put that on. That was a good day, wasn't it? Those were the good old days. I remember once I was watching... Uh, I was watching uh, television in Sheffield when I was at college, and it was ITV, some local station. They said um, it was a news item. They said we have uh, terrible uh, things, a prison riot going on down, and we now cut the footage. And they cut to the Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> and it was hysterical. I thought this must have been set up. It was so perfect. The Muppets going mad with animal in the background. I, I fell off my chair, and, and, and he. So I'm terribly sorry. We've seen another wrong piece of footage there. There were old people really scared, though. Oh my God, look what they've got in jail. And they're only 100 feet from here. You couldn't. Do timing better than that. It was just perfect. Let's uh, let's have some more music, and we'll chat to Eddie some more after this. As I said, I don't know if I mentioned it properly. Eddie Izzard's new DVD is called Circle. Circle. It's it's been out for a little while now, but if you're looking for the last uh, minute Christmas gift for someone, I can't think that anyone would be not happy to receive this. I would mm. be delighted. I've already got several free copies. Don't get me another one. <laughs> no. But if I didn't have many free ones, I would have been delighted. Matter of fact, some of the free ones I've given to other people, and I've claimed I've bought it for them. Oh, that's quite good. Does that show me in a bad light? Did you, did everything that people give you, just give away and put it in a different wrapper? All the things, if I've either already got... Well, I mean, I'll give some stuff to charity. What don't you have now? Well, I don't give to charity, I swap. But what don't you have uh, now? Um, I haven't got a car made out of gold. OK, so offers to mm. the BBC. <laughs> um, this is a uh, feeder. This is feeder. We, he performed live, Grant performed live. And did he record this ago. for especially? He recorded especially. It's the uh, Frankie oh, Goes Grant, to Hollywood. Grant is not gone anymore. Spangle. Spangle from feeder recorded the uh, Frankie Goes to Hollywood song, The Power of Love. Yeah. Feeder. Yeah. Fantastic version. Um, Eddie has just been telling me how he actually would like to keep the pound. <laughs> well, I'd like to keep it in my pocket, but I'd <laughs> like to adopt the euro. I'm, I've become pro euro, you'll be pleased to know. Yeah. And I've decided to give up and give up the fight and just join in and swim with it and be modern. Well, I mean, it's just we're getting ripped off in Britain. But, uh, you know, I just like it because it, uh, you can fit it in your ear. You can put one in each ear, and it's kind of. Uh, it kind of looks kind of space agey. I have never seen anyone wearing them in the ears yet. I'm looking but no, forward but to it. But it, it, is, it is a thing you can do. It is an option. You could have that as an option if you want. It's wanted. an option. Um, Eddie Izzard has got a DVD out uh, called Circle. He's also. You, you're just. Basically, you're straddling many different media these days, aren't you? Well. The live performancing. It, yeah, it's really th it's a bit schizophrenic because there's, there's theatre, there's dramatic roles in 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 plays and Day and the Death of Joe Egg and Forty that's coming out and the and the Western and stuff like that. Well, and so then, you're in a Western. So, yeah, that's a, and a period Western or a modern sort of Western. Uh, period. Um, so set what turn of the century? Eighteen eighty. Okay. 18. And you are cowboy or an Indian? Cowboy. And do you have a horse? Horse. You had to ride the horse. Ride it. And what's that like? Great. And what was the horse's name? Steve. I cannot wait to see. <laughs> The West Steve end. must be just Steve. The Steve, horse. I got his legs, yeah. I got his energy, and, and his, his horse. horse. <laughs> yeah, well, he, you know, he's a, he's a multi-talented person, obviously. <laughs> um, did you uh, did you ride already, or did you have to learn for the movie? No, I had to learn from a teacher. I got I got taught in Spanish, talking about Europe and everyone coming together. And you lead the the weirdest life. No, I did. This guy, I couldn't speak Spanish. I mean, I've only got three or four words. I knew caballo, it's horse, and um, uh, loco, which is mad. Mad. They put me on mad horse at one point. Yeah, because caballo they're the only loco. words you could say. Which horse do you want? Loco. They, you know, that's why you. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't words. even know. But he said caballo loco, and I thought that's um, Th that's my one. That's a bad horse to be on. <laughs> caballo loco, Steve. <laughs> Steve, indeed. Yeah, see? Well, Miguel actually taught me. He taught me half an hour, all in Spanish. Miguel. It was. <laughs> and, uh, and, and it was just it was just kind of, you know, it was a human and human, mano a mano type That's thing. Nice. So you're speaking and more Spanish? I know. And it was, uh, it was all, you were talking about the reins and having to be tight. And he says, have you hold them tight? And this is all in Spanish. And I just worked out just from his hand signals. Wait. But for half an hour, he taught me how to, how to ride. And are you a good horseman now? I can. I, you'll, you'll see in the film. Do you I, enjoy I it? I come is out it, at, at, at high speed. I, I gallop off at... At 70 miles an hour, me and Michael Madsen just tearing across the desert. I'm not a horse fan. Well, you if you're scared of them, they know in 30 seconds, you know. Yeah, I'm not scared of them so much as I just don't you trust them. Scared of them. They've got great big noses. They're powerful children. It's the same reason they're that I never... They're powerful, they're like your children, but powerful. They're too powerful. Yeah. If my kids were that strong, I'd be terrified. I know, well, that's it, that's what they are. And for a start, I wouldn't put bloody metal on their feet either. But, yeah, well, I know, I had to wear the spurs, but keep them away from the horse, otherwise you'd go at 110,000 miles an hour. I'm telling you, you get kicked by a horse, you know it. 
I know, well, don't stand there. Well, don't put metal shoes on them. Give them training shoes stand or something. Stand to one side, they can't kick to the side. Put a rubber shoe on the horse, it kicks you, then it's just more like a little pat. <laughs> yeah, but you've been hit by metal, it's like someone taking a swing at you with a sledgehammer. Don't stand there. No. Exactly. What, where else am I going to stand? I'm not going to stand around the front on that big nose. It's like side. hanging out with Penelope Keith. <laughs> the side. On top or the sides. There's a certain you, area. You get on the side. For start, they're covered in hair. So are you. <laughs> not to that extent. Do you think I am Tony Blackburn? <laughs> hey, you're quite hairy at the moment. Well, yes, I grew a beard. Why, why for? Well, because I was in this western. I had so, a bigger beard in the oh. western. So you're a bad guy in it, then? Uh, no, I'm kind of like uh, Joe Pesci in, in um, uh, Lethal Weapon. But, but a lot better looking. <laughs> With a bigger beard. A taller man. Taller man and all. And on the horse. A bigger man. <laughs> and less sort of frenetic. Yeah, he didn't have a, a horse in Goodfellas, did he? Uh, no, in Goodfellas, just a dagger. And then he said, hey, I'm a made man. And it all went wrong. I would love to see a version of Goodfellas on horseback. <laughs> <laughs> a puppet version of Goodfellas would be good. <laughs> I miss the Muppets, don't you? Yeah, the Muppet version of Goodfellas. That would be a, that'd be a movie. If the Muppets won today, you would be a guest. Yeah. yeah, what happened to the Muppets? I don't know. I, saw, I read somewhere they're trying to sell them. Anyone wants to buy them? I think them what happened them. was Animal ran off with Lou Grade's wife or something, yeah. and it all got very messy, and they all it got out of hand. Yeah. You know, it just you know just you know showbiz. But that would be a lot of press, and then yeah. the sales would rock. These it. days it would be a lot of press, but then it wouldn't be so much press. But then it would have been kept quiet and hushed up. That's the way it went back then. And then you find you know Animal floating in, in the Thames, mm. bedraggled, with well, a cigar in found? his hand. I don't know. Maybe they never found him. It's making westerns now. It's what happens to people when on the way down. Mm. But it is a bit schizophrenic. You're right when you But it must that. be weird for you. And also, you're learning to fly still, or you've learned to fly? A plane? I've learned to fly. You can fly a plane? No, no plane needed. Just, Just leap out the window. That's... Need to take a certain amount of drugs. That's tantric, isn't it? Uh, if you, yeah. It depends I, how you land. I, it's can you landing. imagine getting on a plane in, like, 15 years' time? Yeah. And this is say, your captain. Hello, this is your captain. Yes, uh, <laughs> they're flying over a large character. Uh, the <laughs> you are in the air. It's uh, my uh, co-pilot who doesn't exist. Because Steve... <laughs> <laughs> That's my, meant to be my impersonation. Of you. It's not too. I know you just got carrots in the brain because you're wearing a carrot around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> this is rather carrot like this it time, is. isn't it? You're right. It's, I didn't realise that when I put it on. It's been flashing up your face. How much time we got? We have got to move on, I guess, haven't we? Because you know why, Eddie? I'm very sorry, but we've got Bob Geldof. He was on the show earlier. He's hogging more than his fair share of time. I know, and he's been singing songs. Well, he's promised us something very special. He's going to do. Do they know it's Christmas? Which he's never performed live before. Well, that's good. He's not on the show, and unfortunately, though, we've got to be boy George and Bonner. Yeah. You guess who's who. I will. Uh, no, I'm Bonner, you meant to know that. No, no, no I'm no. just guessing. I'm not okay. George. I'm not telling so I ain't being George. Let's play a record when we come back. we got to thank Eddie. Eddie, thanks for coming on. Thank you very much. Have a lovely, happy mm. Christmas. I will. Are you going away anywhere or are you staying in the UK? I'm just going to stay with Steve. OK, stay with Steve. Make his legs, his body, his hair. Oh. <laughs> I bet he's hairy as well. No. <laughs> Smooth, boy. <laughs>